so welcome back to today a new day we are glad that you are here and if you're new here you can always subscribe hit that subscription button it doesn't hurt to subscribe so today what we want to do we want to estimate the quantity of iron sheets using the plinth area method i know last time we had done something similar but that time we were using archicad or bim today we want to use uh, the plinth area method which is more like a rough estimate and if you're doing your drawing and you want it to be rendered maybe faster or you have a lot of work in your hand or your pc is maybe somehow slow we will be able to come and do that for you as quick as possible so that you get more time to do your own things or to do more important things on your side or maybe you want to be involved in more designs and other things while for us we make it look more appealing for you or at times you just don't have the right assets or the right objects or the right textures we will come in and we will be able to help you we have a lot of textures we have a lot of objects those decoration gets a lot of things that we can put in your drawing and make it look more appealing or more amazing and we'll be able to work it out for you of course at a fee but a very a very affordable fee so today Again, I'm going to use Archicad because I'm used to I'm used to Archicad. For me, it is a bit hard to avoid using it. So, I want to estimate the quantity of roofs that will be used in this structure using Archie. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to select all of my walls. I want the external walls. I want to calculate. Uh, so, when you're using the plinth area method, the first thing you do is you calculate the area of your the area of your building. Once you have the area of your, the floor plan area, once you have the floor plan area, you mod, you will uh, multiply that by a factor. Then uh, let me select this one as well. Then you just divide by the area of one sheet. So it's it's actually very simple, and you get to do it uh, quicker. But it is more like an estimate, so it won't give you the true value, but it will be somehow more closer. It will be closer. So I want to let me drag this on. So I want to I want to estimate the um, I want to get what what I'm calling the area of this one. Of course I could just measure but that one won't give me the right area if I measure from here to here and from here to here. I want to get I want to get um, the area that I want to get I want it to be a little bit more accurate since i'm able to get an accurate area yeah there's no point of not getting it so so what i'm doing i'm just cutting this off if you want to cut something you hold control so once i have this one i want it to this point yes i want it to this point coming to this point to the veranda so i'm just going to shift this one to to up here uh move let's drag i want this one to be to be somewhere here this is because i want to get the area up to this point then i'm going to extend this one to here so once i have it like this like i'm extending this one to this point because of um yeah i wanted to get the area to this point then I could I go to zone and I click on this one then this so I can quickly get the area yeah the area is 117.3 117.3 so once I have this area what I'm going to do next I'm going to take this area which is which is this value I have to multiply that value by a factor and the factor varies normally it's between 1.30 is it between is it between 1.25 to 1.30 so if i'm going with 1.30 i'm going to take 117.3 then i will multiply this one by uh, i'm going to multiply by uh, 1.3 so what i get um, i'm getting 152.49 152.49 so once i get 152.49 that was after multiplying with a factor you remember the factor is coming in to take care of uh, because when you're doing the roof you will have what we call 
you're going to have an angle the roof is a is normally placed at an angle which we call the pitch at some pitch and again you're going to have the cover the cover for yeah for your roof and everything like that so this is taking care of that the factor that we're multiplying in then when we take the area of one sheet the sheet the normal sheet the normal cj sheets which i was talking about in another video you have uh, two meters 2.5 and 3 point and 3 but the width the width normally remains the same at 850 millimeters but in some other cases but yes in all the cases 850 millimeters but when you're doing a uh, roofing you normally have to consider the overlap you will have to consider the overlap and remain with the cover so what we call the cover is normally is taken as 762 millimeters 762 millimeters so we are going to take 762 millimeters and you that will help you to get the area like what i'm trying to say is you just get the area of your roof of one sheet and um, this is 152.49 so if i'm going to get the area of one sheet which is uh, 0.762 i'm going to multiply this one by say one of one of my sheet is two meters i'm going to multiply that one by two if we're considering that one of our sheet is two meters but you as if you're using a 2.5 then you will take 2.5 if you're using three three meters long sheet or maybe at times you're using the one meter length so all you do is get the area of your sheet uh which i'm getting as 1.524 1.524 then i'm going to multiply so i'm going to take that one and i will divide it by the nine so if i take 152 0.49 then we are dividing with the answer uh, what we get is 100 sheets and that is it it is very simple using the plant area method and you can always render with us remember you can always render with us it doesn't matter where you are you can always share your drawing with us and we will be able to render it for you as quick as possible and at times you have done your drawing maybe and it according to you doesn't is not looking that appealing or maybe you want to add something but you don't know how to do it so you can always reach out to us you will you send the drawing to us then we'll you tell us what you want and we will be able to do that for you and render it for you at an affordable fee the email is in the description at structonstudios at gmail.com and you can always as well follow us on instagram at Stockton Studios. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. More tutorials coming soon.